Welcome back to the channel. You're going to learn two quick ways to highlight text in CapCut. Ready to become an expert? Then let's get started. Okay, let's have a look at the first method for highlighting text in CapCut. Drag your image to the timeline. Go to text and add a default text to the timeline above your image. Extend the text to the same length as your image. Change the text to an underscore. I have typed the underscore symbol three times. Change it to your desired color. Now, under Transform, disable the Uniform Scale button. This allows us to manually adjust the height and width. Use the zoom option if you need to work with a bigger image. Cover the text you want to highlight and adjust the width settings until you are satisfied with the result. Now we are going to copy and paste the text layer for the next line we want to highlight. I like to arrange the text layers in the correct order. I'm only going to highlight two lines to save time, but you can do this for as many lines you want to highlight. Now let's add an animation. We will only use an in animation. Use the wipe right animation. I'm going to give it two seconds. Do the same for the other lines you want to highlight. As you can see, both lines are being highlighted at the same time. We can change this by offsetting the second text layer by a few seconds. Now the second line highlight starts after the first line. You can adjust it until you get the result you want, but that will do for now. Now select the text layers and create a compound clip. Select the compound clip, go to the Video tab. Under the Basic tab, go to the Blend Mode options and select Linear Burn. You could also use the Multiply option. You can now see the highlighted text, but let's play the animations we added. Let's play it in full screen mode for a better view. Now come on, that looks nice. Okay, let's have a look at the second method for highlighting text in CapCut. Drag your image to the timeline. Let's zoom in a little. This time we're going to use a sticker inside CapCut. Go to the Stickers tab. And search for Highlight. I'll use this red one. Add it to the timeline. Extend the sticker to the same length as the image on the timeline. Under Transform, disable the Uniform Scale button. This allows us to manually adjust the height and width. Adjust the height and width to cover the text you want to highlight. Now, right-click and create a compound clip. Select the compound clip, go to the Video tab. Under the Basic tab, go to the Blend Mode options and select the Multiply option. You can change the opacity if you need to. Now let's add some animations to the compound clip. For the in animation, select Fade In. I'm going to give it a one second duration. For the out animation, select Fade Out. I'm going to leave it at half a second for the duration time. Let's see the final result. If you like this tutorial, please give it a like and subscribe.